Hi Capricorn, welcome to your love reading for March. This is Mary and this is Leo Sunlight Insight. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. If you're new, welcome returning. Thank you so much for coming back. So welcome Capricorn, hope everybody's doing well. So we're going to take a look at your love connection. So this has to be an actual connection you believe you have with somebody. You don't necessarily have to be together, but you at least have to know each other and what you believe uh, may be a connection of some sort between you. So let's see what we have going on here for you Capricorn. At this time, I do say at this time, I do consider all my readings timeless. So if you'd like to go back and watch past readings, links below are in the description box for your general and love playlist, along with the decks I'm using, social media links, how to reach out for personal reading, or if you'd like to tip or donate, send a gift. All that information is below in the description, and I'll also pin that to the top comment. So this is for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, male or female. Uh, please only take what resonates and throw away the rest. I could pick up on past, uh, past, present, or future energy, so please keep that in mind. If you feel like it's not resonating and then it's not your reading, please don't try to make it fit. Hold out for the next reading. So let's see what's going on with Capricorn at this time in love spirit, please. So this is a zodiac oracle. We could get a sign, element, or planet. And if you don't resonate with what comes out, totally fine. Sort of like a little extra bonus. So let's see for Capricorn spirit please who may some of them be dealing with planet sign or element please thank you so much for capricorn okay there we go so we have cancer so some of you could be dealing with a cancer or maybe they have it heavily in their chart or maybe you have cancer in your chart however it resonates for you if that doesn't totally fine <coughs> so Let's see. Let's get an opening love connection energy between you and your person, whoever you're thinking about at this time. For Capricorn spirit, please. Thank you so much. For Capricorn at this time, whoever they're thinking of, what is the opening love connection energy like between Capricorn and their person at this time? Spirit, please. Thank you so much. There we go. So heart to heart conversations honestly discuss your feelings with each other so either you need to be honest about how you truly feel about one another or if you have issues going on right now with your person you need to honestly discuss how you're both feeling about whatever's going on so however that resonates for you so now we're going to pull one for you i didn't really ask yet so we're going to pull one for you capricorn here and one for your person here, whoever you're thinking of at this time. We'll get how you're thinking and feeling about each other and the connection between you and your person. So let's get one for Capricorn. But if you feel at any time you need to switch the energies, please feel free to do that. But I will call you here, Capricorn, and your person there. Okay. So one for Capricorn. Spirit, please. How they're feeling about their person and the connection. And then one for their person. How they're feeling about Capricorn. And... Wow, the connection, it's too many, I just want one, all right, Capricorn, we have, it is safe for you to love, open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all, so it is safe for you to love this person, and engagement, your love life is extended to a higher level of commitment, so your person wants to level up this uh, connection, could actual be an engagement or just, hey, let's go out, let's go on a date, let's exclusively date, let's be committed. And you may be feeling like, mm, I don't know. So you need to have heart to heart conversations here about the connection, how you're feeling about the connection moving forward. But I think Spirit wants you to know it is safe for you to love this person. Wow. So let's see what's on the bottom of the deck. Release your ex. The time has come to clear your energy. So someone here needs to let go of any unresolved issues with an ex or how an ex made them feel. Or maybe someone here, maybe you, an ex made you feel insecure about love and moving forward in a new relationship. Um, I think it's time just to release that energy. Let it go because you are worthy and you can love again and it is definitely safe to love this person wow okay so let's clarify this for you capricorn let's clarify i just want to give a quick shout out to all my new subscribers those who have tipped donate sent a gift or reached out for a personal reading thank you thank you all your support really does mean a lot to me 
and we just hit 10,000 subscribers. So in honor of hitting 10,000 subscribers in under my goal of one year, I am having a contest. You can win a deck by me, um, not a deck I created, but I'm giving away a deck and also a free reading. I'll do your reading with that deck and then I'll send you that deck and you, um, you can win that tarot deck. So if you are interested in entering the contest, it is open till the end of March. I'll close it the beginning of April and then pick a winner. I'll put the link below on how to enter. There is a post in the community section about the contest. <clears throat> I'll put a link to that post. You can follow it and it'll tell you how to enter, what you need to do if you're interested in winning a tarot deck and a free reading, 20 minute reading by me. So if you're interested in that contest, please feel free to enter and good luck to you. All right, Capricorn, let's clarify this energy. So why do we have that it's safe for you to love again? Here for you, Capricorn. Okay. Yeah, so we have the King of Wands energy. So you may have been involved with the fire sign before, I'm feeling, um, which left you kind of disenchanted and melancholy about love, I feel. All right, so, and, and maybe it wasn't a fire sign, but <coughs> let's see. So why does your person have engagement? The Four of Pentacles, yeah, they don't want to let you go. Yep, yeah, they don't want to let you go. So they want to have you all to themselves. So they may be proposing, leveling up a commitment or engagement or exclusively dating. Yeah, because they want soulmate union with you. They feel like you're their soulmate. So they definitely don't want to let you go. They want this soulmate union. They want to come together with you. They want to offer to be exclusive or leveling up or or an actual engagement. But I feel like you could have been involved with somebody from the past, maybe it was a player, very fiery, passionate energy that left you disenchanted, melancholy, and kind of like unsure about love in general. But just know you can release that past energy because it is safe for you to love in this situation. This person is very stable with the Four of Pentacles energy. And they definitely don't want to let you go. They see you as their soulmate. All right. So let's see what the actual situation is here for you, Capricorn. Well, there you go. <laughs> There's the engagement possibly coming into you. Or maybe, you know, somebody, this past person promised you all these <clears throat> things. They promised you a new beginning. They promised you stability for the long term, blah, 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 blah. And maybe they were just a player and didn't follow through. But you know your value and your worth now with the Empress energy. So know, you know, to get into your Empress like power, Emperor, Empress, whoever's watching this, you have value, you have worth. This is the birth of something new. And here is the new Ace of Pentacles coming in for you with this new person. So definitely that can be an engagement here with the Ace of Pentacles, a solid new beginning for the long term. Very stable energy. Empress, you could be a mother, <clears throat> but you don't have to be. But, you know, the Empress, Emperor, Empress embodies all the energies of the kings and queens. It's a mother or father of the deck. It takes control, lead, charge. Queen of Swords energy here. So whenever I get the king, the queen, or the ace of swords, that's divine energy for me stepping in here with the sword of truth and clarity of the situation. And that's also being in the energy of seeing the seeing the truth and clarity between the two of you, having open, honest communication, cutting away things no longer, not serving the connection or serving the both of you in your own right, standing up for this, not backing down, not taking any BS. So divine, I feel like trying to shed the sword of victory onto this connection, the high priest. So this is about commitment, marriage, Faith, hope, optimism, religion, structure, institutional energy, uh, not a mental institution, but just like institutions of the government and religion and all that kind of energy. So, yeah, they definitely want, <laughs> they want commitment with you. They, I think they may want to marry you. And Divine is trying to tell you, know your power, your worth, your value, that this is the birth of something new and you are worthy and it is safe for you to love. You need to re relax, release 
past energy of an ex or somebody here that didn't see your value and your worth, that promised you things and never followed through. This person is sincere. They don't want to let you go. They see you as their soulmate. Wow. So you need to have <clears throat> heart to hearts here about this connection, I feel. So let's get one more. Eight of Pentacles. So taking a slow, steady, practical approach, working on this for the long term, working together, putting in the dedicated effort and the hard work. They definitely want to work on this with you. If we have to take it slow, they have to take it slow. They're willing to do that. They definitely don't want to lose you. Wow. They want this long-term commitment, marriage, ace of pentacles. Wow. Wow. So maybe you do know your value and your worth now, and you're ready for this new beginning. Wow. Okay. So let's see what the advice is. Five of Wands. Seven of Cups. So we have conflict in options and confusion so far. So what else? But then we have the Ace of Wands, a fiery, passionate new beginning. I feel like, okay, let me get one more. The King of Swords. So now we got a divine couple here with the King and Queen of Swords, matching couple, soulmate energy. This is definitely a soulmate connection. Divine is trying to show you that with the King and Queen of Swords, that this is a soulmate connection. So the advice is here that even though you may have inner conflict and feeling confused, that divine energy here is trying to show you the way the path to light, that this is a soulmate connection. And there is a exciting, new, fiery, passionate beginning here between the two of you. But there's also stability. And there definitely is love here with the two of cups, soulmate energy. So, you know, King of Swords, again, and they're like facing each other. So again, having truth and clarity, communication between the two of you. That's the advice about this passionate new beginning. Discuss how you feel conflict, why you feel conflict, what happened to you in the past, and why you feel this way and you don't want it to happen again, and why you're feeling confused about love again. And it will transform this connection. And it will bring the truth and the clarity and the honest communication between the two of you so that you can move forward with a lot of stability and success with the Ace of Pentacle energy. Wow. All right, Capricorn. So let's get possible outcome of this connection. Knight of Cups. So moving forward in love. So we will be moving forward in love. Somebody's going to make the love offer. We're moving forward in love here with the Knight of Cups. But then we have the Ten of Swords, some sort of painful ending here. All right. One more, one more. Oh, in the Ace of Swords. I'm telling you, divine energy is trying to show you this is a divine connection. That is the truth and the clarity of this matter. And the Knight of Wands. So again, moving forward, two Knights here. Knight of Wands, Knight of Cups. I feel like this Ten of Swords is, as much as you feel felt betrayed and stabbed in the back in, from the past, endings of the past with X or X's or whatever here. Um, again, you could have had a fire sign that was just a player, but this person coming in, this new connection is sincere. They have love, emotions, and we have the sword of victory and success. You've got three wands here. You've got the, the three aces, ace of swords, ace of wands, ace of pentacles. We don't have the ace of cups yet, but um, yeah, I feel like you know, moving on from that player energy of the past, ending any insecurities or energies left, like that residue from the past, from that player, and moving forward with love. And this is the sort of victory, truth, clarity, cutting away energies, feelings, thoughts, emotions, things no longer serving, standing up and fighting for this connection, not backing down, open, honest, truthful communication, new beginning based on that. Wow. And there definitely is, you know, they could be fiery, passionate to this person, but they do have love and they do want stability also. So on the bottom, we have the moon. So feeling, again, a little insecure, like you can't see the path away, the light um, for the future between the two of you, feeling a little insecure about that. But there is definitely deep feelings between the two of you. This is a feminine energy with the moon. 
but justice. So this is balancing out the scales, open, honest communication, having justice in this connection. I think this person will bring you the justice you deserve and love. So we have the Ten of Wands and the Magician. So you can end all that burdensome energy that is holding you back. And you can manifest this brand new beginning. You know, you need to know your worth, your value, your stability. Being independent in your own right. Because there we go. Now we have the Ace of Cups. Wow, we have four Aces. I knew it was going to show up. <clears throat> and once you get in that energy, get rid of all that energy no longer serving you. Know your value, your worth, your stability. Then you can manifest and we have brand new beginning in love and emotions overflowing. We have the passion. We have the love. We have the stability. We have the truth and clarity for this connection. Soulmate, divine counterparts here. So, yep, soulmate, divine counterparts. With the brand new beginning in love here. Love and emotions overflowing. Once you know your value, your worth, your stability, knowing you're deserving of this, then you can manifest this brand new beginning. Lay down those burdens of the past. Let this person give you the justice and love that you deserve. Even though you're feeling a little insecure and you can't see things clearly, justice will be served to you with, by this person. So we have Cancer there. We have Leo Sag Aries. We have um, the Empress here, Libra Taurus. Libra Gemini Aquarius, Taurus. Uh, let's see. Libra Gemini Aquarius, Leo Sagittarius, Cancer Scorpio Pisces, and then we have um, Cancer of Pisces, we have Libra, we have Gemini and Virgo, so those are the other signs that I see, wow, Scorpio, yeah, if you can release negative energies holding you back from the past that made you insecure about love, this person definitely is your soulmate divine counterpart <clears throat> if you honestly have discussions with them how you're truly feeling about love and why and what happened to you this is just going to take off and come into soulmate union wow i think they're fully going to understand they're going to serve you the justice you deserve in love all right so i do ask capricorn i'm going to get some extra messages with this deck I do ask if you're new and you like how I, how I read, my style, you can check out my channel if you like what you see. Please feel free to like, share, subscribe, comment. I love to read the comments. Hit the bell, you won't miss out. You get five readings a month, two loves, two generals, and a bonus. So let's see, feeling this one here. We have, look deep within your heart and you will feel my love. My love for you is deep as the ocean. Oh, I felt that. This person loves you so much. Okay, I'm telling me this card. There's a peace, harmony, and balance. New beginning. A new adventure awaits. Embrace it and live your dreams passionately. Exactly. A new beginning is waiting for the two of you. New beginning. And we have those four aces. We have this card here. Transformation. Your relationship with one another is about to deepen. Love conquers and transforms all things. Let this person give you the justice and transformation that you need and love in this new beginning. Wow. And I feel like they want to put in that dedicated effort and work to show you what love truly is like. A true partnership. A true divine counterpart soulmate. Wow. And look at that. Soulmate. Are you kidding me? Soulmate. <laughs> Your soulmate is already with you in spirit. Believe this and they will manifest physically. Wow. I can't make it up. So let's see what is on the bottom of the deck. Acceptance is the key to inner peace. At times we must accept things as they are. There is no point trying to change that which is beyond our control. So, you know, that is just accepting um, things of the past. What they were is what they were. You can't change it, but you can heal and transform and learn to trust and know your value and your worth and that you are worthy of a real love and soulmate and divine loving connection, Capricorn. Wow. Okay, Capricorn. So I'm sending you many light, love, and blessings. Best of luck to you. And as I always say with my channel, is to always, always shine your light.